wine or you just maybe curious about wine, uh, we've got an event for you. Yeah, you don't need to leave Omaha for wine country either. Two dozen nationally and internationally known winemakers are coming here next month. They are. Don Meredith, Meredith is part of Vin Nebraska and joining us from Partnership for Kids, Lori Lemholm. Thanks for coming in this Don, morning. Don, Lori, good to see you. Don, Don you're back. You. Good to see you. And you brought a couple of bottles yeah, of wine. Yes, we'll I always bring wine. Yeah, we'll get to those in a second. But talk about Vin Nebraska. Cause well, it's, uh, Vin guys, Nebraska started off about 25 years ago. There were a bunch of us wine geeks got together and thought we'd <laughs> kind of have a celebrity tasting of yeah. sorts. Uh, we had had tastings, of course. There were a lot of tastings in Omaha. But we thought, hey, instead of just getting some Mill Creek wine, uh -huh. what if we could get Bill and Yvonne Crack mm. to come and pour it in your glass mm -hmm. for you? And then we talked to them. And we did that, and we begged people, and we got people to come to our first <laughs> events. And it has gone on and on and on since yeah. then. Now it's a two-day event. Uh, we have a big dinner on Friday. And then Saturday we'll have 800 to 1,000 people. We're always sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, 800 to 1,000 people at the main wine tasting. Describe mm -hmm. a few of the two dozen wines that will be available that you think either the enthusiasts, the wine geeks like yourself, or people who are just new to it but are eager to learn. Uh, we were just talking when we were off camera about the idea there used to be like grocery store mm -hmm. wine was this wine. And then there was winery and wine shop wine. It was this wine. Well, I'm sorry, there's some really nice wine now in grocery stores. Yeah. And so uh, there's some of the people who will be there. One's on the high end probably, Silver Oak. Mm -hmm. Mill Creek will have their reflections. Stu Smith, Smith's Madrone cabs are phenomenal. And then there's some more, and we never use the word cheap in the mm -hmm. wine. There are some more affordable wines will be there. We try to get an array of wines at the event. Yeah. And I think it's interesting when you guys started this event, it was tough getting some of the wineries to, to participate in this. But now there's a waiting list. Yeah, we, we think this is an Omaha event. We sell Omaha, and Omaha sells our event. I mean, these guys come. We were on our knees begging them to come to start with. And they come, they go to the zoo. They, <laughs> some of them came to a Nebraska football game. Two people came right. to a Nebraska football game, come back and visited us. And they do all those things, and they love us. And so they come back, and <laughs> Omaha helps us sell Don, the event. I can't imagine why anybody would love you. It just <laughs> boggles the mind. Hey, let's, we'll talk about the cause here in a second, because this is why you do what you do. Um, but some of the auction items, just like the wines, are very special. So what will you have up for bid this year? Uh, each one of the wineries donates something. They come in, and uh, they will donate anything from a expense-paid trip to their winery, mm -hmm. and you get to stay in their house, and they fix mm -hmm. you dinner. Uh, we have vacation places that we sell. There are lots of things, along with some just odds and ends that, in fact, uh, people donate. And but we have made over the years, we've made almost three million dollars wow. net. Wow, that's not incredible. gross net. Okay. That's for local charities, yeah, all stays else. local. Yeah, and, and this part of it this year is Partnership for Kids. And Lori, mm -hmm. that's where you come yeah. in. Explain what Partnership for Kids is. Uh, well, Partnership for Kids is a goal setting and group mentoring program. It's like academically um, based. And it's it's basic, basically for students who um, might be considered a little bit at risk, uh, just struggling a little bit more than, than the average student has to has to struggle with certain obstacles in their life and so we have mentors and our uh, our staff that help them uh, overcome those obstacles and and stay on the path to success. How can our viewers help you beyond this event? Is there anything you would encourage them to do? Absolutely we're always looking for volunteers to serve as mentors for our program and um, the time commitment for that is two to five hours a month depending on what grade level of students you're working with but if you um, don't have that uh, Time commitment in your in your in your uh, time. It, we can also take donations as well. Yeah, yeah the website is, is p4k.org. You can learn more about your organization. Yes. In Nebraska, recently you got an award, right? Yeah. Did you get an award? Yeah. We have we have got several awards for the best wine and food mm -hmm. event in Omaha, and we've got that for years. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's something that we really like because the people who attend the events vote. Well, let's show you the information so you know what you're getting into here. Uh, the date, the best way to get tickets online, would you say? 
Don, Lori? You, you can do it online, right. um, going to our Giving Center through our website. Otherwise, you can also buy tickets um, at the winery in Clock Tower Village. We're selling them there. Or you can call me on the phone and, and get them over the phone as well. The date, March 29th. Circle it and enjoy. Yeah. Lori, thanks for coming in. Don, Thank good to you. see you, too. Yeah, Thank Lori, you. thanks a lot. Don, good, good to see you again. Good to see you again. So would you go to more community events if you did not have to dress up? Well, the good news, just like a real carnival, you can wear jeans to the Carnival of Love. Yeah, first, one of the most famous Olympians of modern times, Christy Yamaguchi. She's in Sochi now. Her observations of the city and expectations for the games. Next.